Dear students, welcome to your Maths Guide. This is question number 5, exercise 13.1. A hemispherical depression is cut out from one face of a cubical wooden block such that the diameter L of the hemisphere is equal to the edge of the cube. Determine the surface area of the remaining solid. Here, a hemispherical depression is cut out from top face of this cubical wooden block. The edge of the cubical block is L, which is equal to the diameter of this hemispherical depression. So the radius of the hemispherical depression is L by 2. We have to find the surface area of this remaining solid. For the solid, we can see the inner curve surface area of this hemispherical depression. So the surface area of the remaining solid is total surface area of this cubical block minus the area of the circular region, which is the base of this hemisphere, plus the inner curve surface area of this hemisphere. Curve surface area of a hemisphere is 2 pi r square and the total surface area of a cube having a a is 6a square and the area of the circular region is pi r square. Here the edge of the cube is L. So the total surface area of the cubical block is 6L square minus area of the base of the hemisphere is pi r square plus the curve surface area of the hemisphere Adding these together we get pi r square. So 6L square plus pi r square. By placing value for this radius we get 6L square plus pi. Radius is L by 2. L by 2 the whole square. By taking square we get 6L square plus pi L square by 4. Here the LCM is 4. So 24L square by 4 plus pi L square by 4. Here 1 by 4 L square is common. Inside the bracket 24 plus pi. So the surface area of the remaining solid is 1 by 4 L square into 24 plus pi. 